Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. All right. Shalom. Most and Christ bless. My name is Captain Barnabas. I'm on my left. Soldier Uzziah. Yeah, we here with another Captain 15 Minutes. You know what I'm saying? To you all, I pray your brothers and your sisters get something from this whenever we bring that out. All right. So, all right. We're going to go into some scriptures, brothers and sisters. All right. So, the first scripture we're going to start with. No, the topic is what I want to say. The topic is Can you cover your head? You understand? Know when righteous music playing. All right. So, that is the topic. All right. So, all right. The first scripture we want. Let me put on my face real quick. I know that. I have two face. All right. All right. <clears throat> first scripture we want. Give me First Corinthians. Let's start with that. First Corinthians 11, verse 4 and 5. The book of First, first Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. See that? So the scripture said, every man praying, listen good, praying, are prophesying this honor is ed. That's what the scripture said. Read on. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head. So why are the men not supposed to have his head covered? Watch this. Give me that in Revelation real quick. Revelation 19 and 10. Why the men not supposed to have his head covered? Watch this. Revelation chapter 19 and verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant. And of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus, worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. That's what it is. You understand? If when a brother been doing righteous music, you know what I'm saying? For real, he's prophesying. That's why the man cannot have his head covered. That's what I'm saying. For real. Why it said, why, why a man cannot have his head covered when righteous music is playing? Because when brothers have been doing songs, they are prophesying. I'm not going to show you that in the scriptures. Say, so brother been prophesying. All right? You see that? Give me the first Corinthians 12 and 10. Brother has been prophesying. So now you brothers and your sisters understand. Now you brothers understand why your head can't be covered. You know what I'm saying? Many of you want to have the hoodie over your head. I mean, bunks in. I'm saying, watch this, read on. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 12, and verse 10. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. You see that? So the Bible said, you don't understand. We can prophesy in songs. You understand? We see us out there in the street teaching. You understand for real? Yes, we can prophesy like that. Come on. To another, discerning of spirits. And to another, discerning of spirits. So what we want to talk about prophesying. You know what I'm saying? For real. Come on. To another, diverse kinds of tongues. Type diverse kind of tongue by rapping. You understand? DJing. You know what I'm saying? What you call DJ? Uh, you're hardcore reggae then. Rapping, hardcore reggae. You understand? You can be prophesying that way. You see that? So watch this. Give me that in Sorak 39 verse 1. So prophesying. You understand for real? Man, your head cannot be covered. I don't care what you want to say. Many of you have that type of, what do you call it again? The face mask where it go over your head. No, brother. Mm -mm. No. No, bro. Don't do that. All right? You understand? They try to get us, but we're going to show you. Read on. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 39 and verse 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High mm -hmm. and is occupied in the meditation thereof Come on. will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. That's what it is. You're going to be occupied in prophecies. So now you understand, you understand all these brothers who are doing songs, not because they don't see them stand up on the, on the side of the street been, been crying out loud. No, in their song, they pull the scriptures. You understand for real scriptures after scripture, precept, precept. You understand for real. They're they not just don't do a song just to do a song. You know what I'm saying? How are you supposed to understand that? Many of you listen to a song just because the beat. You know what I'm saying? You know, brothers, we do that, right? 
Whether we listen to a song just because it's a beat. No. Listen the song. Don't listen to the beat. Listen the song. Hear the brother been coming on, coming across. You know what I'm saying? For real. Just like how you see those Rasta men been prophesying when we say chant down Babylon and you know what I'm saying? For real. Those things that they do. But now we come to life. We understand. You understand? For real, I want kind of scriptures. You see that? So watch this. You finish that? Oh, uh, yes, sir. You see? So give me, give me first Samuel. You know what I'm saying? 23. No, 2 Samuel 23. So we're going to show you. You know what I'm saying? With David. You see that? Let me show you. Yes, that prophesying. Watch this. 23 verse. Start from verse 1 and read on to verse 2. The book of 2 Samuel chapter 23 and verse 1. Now these be the last words of David. David, the son of Jesse, said, mm -hmm. And the man who was raised up on high, the anointed of the God of Jacob read. and the sweet psalmist of Israel. Of Israel. Read on. Said, the spirit of the Lord spake by me. You see that? So the spirit of the Lord speak by David. Come on. And his word was in my tongue. So you see, what is the spirit of the Lord? Speaking by David, his word was in his tongue. So all these songs where you hear David sung, you understand for real, he was prophesying. That's what he was doing, prophesying. Read it one more time again. The Spirit of the Lord spake by me. So David said the Spirit of the Lord speak by him. It's not sha 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 No, the Spirit of the Lord, he's going to show you what is the Spirit of the Lord is. Come on. And his word was in my tongue. And his word. David said God's word was in it. That the Spirit of the Lord was in David's tongue. You know what I'm saying? So you over there know by saying you're listening to songs, rocking your head, nodding your head. No, brethren and sister, listen, it's good. You know what I'm saying? Sister, if you don't have nothing on your head, put it on. Brother, you have something on your head. Anything where you have on your head, take it off. You know what I'm saying? For real. Many of you want to listen to a class while at work. And you have to have an hat. Many of you work into the freezer. You know what I'm saying? You know those, those, those freezer construction you have to have on those other things. You still want to listen to. No, brother. We are in prophesy. We are prophesying. Your head cannot be covered. So you ain't open all, all or nothing. You're this on in your head. You know what I'm saying? So what you're going to do, you better listen. It's good. Wait until you're coming home from work. Then you can rock that song. Then you can rock that, that, that class where you want to listen to. All right? Read it again. Read it one more time again. Second Samuel chapter 23 and verse 2. The Spirit of the Lord spake by me, and his word was in my tongue. And what? And his word was in my tongue. You see what I'm saying? Watch this. Give me that Psalm 149 now. You know what I'm saying? For real. Mm -hmm. For real. Psalm 149 verse 1. The book of Psalms chapter 149 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Praise ye the Lord. So the Bible said, praise ye the Lord. Watch this. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord a new song. What is that song? Come on. And his praise in the congregation of saints. And his sing and his praise in the congregation of the saints. Can you see all these psalms? These are songs. Do you understand that, brothers? Do you understand that, my sisters? These are songs. Read on. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let Israel rejoice in him. Him that made him. Come on. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Hear that? Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Oh, they're going to joyful in their king. Watch this. Come on. Let them praise his name in the dance. You see that? Let them praise his name in the dance. Watch this. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. And the timbrel and the harp. Come on. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. The Lord will take pleasure in his people. Come on. He will beautify the meek with salvation. He will beautify the meek with salvation. That's what the scripture said. That's the only way. When you have that meek spirit, you're humble. You know that. Listen, you can't have a heart on your head. That's the only way, brethren, you will grant salvation. Because you want to do your own thing. Right. Okay, yeah, man, I'm about to work. I still want to listen. No, the Bible said we are in prophecy. You understand that the only way you will get salvation, the only way the meek will get salvation, Moses do everything what's right, right? And he messed up one time. Never get the kingdom. You never see that, what you said, right? Yeah. He messed up one time. He never get the promised land, but he get the kingdom. I mean, sorry. I'm saying for real. That's what it is. You see that? He messed up. Same thing with you. You messed up. Oh, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? For real. So you feel like you can do your own thing. No, God said that's the only way. You're going to beautify the meek with salvation. Come on. 
Verse 5. Mm -hmm. Let the saints be joyful in glory. You see that? Let the saints be joyful in glory. Come on. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. You see that? Sing. These songs, these psalms, you understand? For real, these are songs, brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? For real. So you can't listen to a scripture on the audio and have your head cover, brother, man. You see what I'm saying? The Bible says we are in what? The spirit of prophesying. Prophecies. That's what the scripture said. You see that? Watch this. We have one more for you. Give me that in, 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 in Sarah. Sarah 32. We're going to start from verse 4 and finish at 6. Read it for me. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 32 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Pour not out words where there is a musician. So you don't understand that, bro. You know what I'm saying? For real. Sometimes bro, brother want to listen to the song. Brother, I've been talking over here. Sister, I've been talking over here. No. The Bible said, do not pour out no words. In what? Where there is a musician. When there is a musician. You know what I'm saying? When I want to rock to some rap. You understand? When I want to rock to some... What is sister name again? The sister and the brother name again? For sing that? Royalty Duo. When I want to rock to Royalty Duo and listen to some love on. I want to get my groove on, man. What is wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? Do not talk to me, man. Come on. And show not forth wisdom out of time. And you feel like so you can pull the scripture over the other side. No, stop. Stop, brothers. Stop, brothers. You understand? That's going to be contradiction right there. You know what I'm saying? Humble with your wisdom. Such chill. Right now, let me listen to my little dual song. You feel me? And get my little groove on, right? Read on. <laughs> a concert of music and a banquet of wine is as a signet of carbuncles set in you, gold. You don't even understand. You sip a little wine, listen to them songs. Right, right. Oh, my God. Especially when they come from Europe. You know what I'm saying? And you have a nice time. You see what I'm saying? You want to get a little relaxing. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. Yes, a little wine and listen to all those songs, but not in the head, bro. That's, that's the nicest thing you can ever see. You see that? Come on. As a signet of an emerald set in a work of gold, so is the melody of music with pleasant wine. You don't understand that, son. You don't understand that, son. You see that? Come on. Uh, that was verse six. No, keep, keep reading the next speak, verse. Speak, young man, if there be need of thee. So the Bible said, if there is need, you speak, but if there is no need, shut up. You know what I'm saying? Let me relax. Sip my little wine. Listen to my little songs. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is, boy. Guy, you don't understand about songs. You don't understand about music? Yes, brothers. Yes, my sister. Yes, that's all music is. Music is like a treasure. Music like gold. Read it again right there. Verse 7. Mm -hmm. Speak, young man, if there be need of thee. Uh -huh. And yet scarcely when thou art twice asked. Twice asked. Twice asked before you speak. Yeah? Cause what? My brother, I've been holding a meditation, listening to some song. You know what I'm saying? The spirit of prophesying, sipping a little wine. You know what I'm saying? But you want to mess up the brother meditation? No, the Bible says, shut up. Shut up. Many of your wife like to talk, curse. You know what I'm saying? Shut up. Shut up, up, right? She follow. Shift up, yeah. Shift up. You see what I'm saying? Watch this. Give me Psalm 120 and 1. Psalm 120, verse 1. So we are here showing you, brothers and sisters, why your head cannot be covered. Because we are in prophesying. Prophesying, all right? Read it for me. Psalms chapter 120 and verse 1. In my distress, I cried unto the Lord. You see that? So in your distress, you cried. Those songs, yes, you pour, you poured out everything. That's what my brother been, been doing songs. That's what they've been pouring out. You understand? They want the salvation. You understand? They want this place to come to an end. You know what I'm saying? But you guys just want to listen to the beat. Yeah, that beat is hard, brother. Yo, yo. And no, listen. All right, come on. And he heard me. What? And he heard me. That's how oh God heard you, brothers and sisters. You understand? To your songs. You understand? For real. To your prayer. To your prophesying. Yes. Yes. No. You know, no, right? Yes, yes. That's what it is. Give me the 34. Psalms 34. Read from verse 4 to 8. Yes. That's prophesying. That's prophesying. That's why. Take that do rag off, man. Many of you like to have that little curly stuff on the top of your head. Bro, you born with those, you know what I'm saying, those, those Negro here. Now you want to be like you're half Indian or half Coolie, huh? Up top. You don't see that? That's strange. It's strange. Read it for me, man. Psalms chapter 34 and verse 4. Uh -huh. I sought the Lord and he heard me. You see that? So when you sought the Lord to your song, he heard you through your song. That's why you have to be shut up. You know what I'm saying? For real, because what? The brother been prophesying, right? Come on. 
and delivered me from all my fears. And deliver you from your fear. Yes, you know you can chant these songs and the most I hear you too? Yes. And deliver you from all your fear. That's something you're going through it. And these songs alone, you know what I'm saying, for real, help you out. You know what I'm saying? Yes, help you out through your day. Just listen to our song and you say, damn, for real, this song's yo, for real. He just removed that every weight from the burden from the mind. You see that? Come on. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. Come on. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him. Wow, 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 wow. What? The poor man cried to his songs. You understand? He's singing about oppression and what? And the Lord heard him. And the Lord heard him. Yes. Yes, that's what it is. Come on. And saved him out of all his troubles. And saved him out of all his trouble. You see how powerful it is? The song. Why well, you just think it's just the beat? No, the song. The brother been prophesying through the song. And a poor man heard it. You understand? And delivered from all his sorrow, his pain. Yes. That's what the scripture said. Read on. The angel of the Lord encampeth around about them. What happened? The angel of the Lord encampeth around about them you that fear him. You don't understand that? When a brother been prophesying, the angel of the Lord encampeth around. Yes. That's what the scripture said. That's what it said. Yeah. But many of you feel like, say, okay, it's just a song. No. Hmm. No. It's not regular song, brothers and sisters. It's songs what to move. You understand this tragedy and the and the 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 the, 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 the disconduct of the mind. These songs, what these brothers been doing. You understand for real. You see that? No more shoot in the head. No more sister being. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the the B word and the O and the all these names. No, these songs we do to uplift our sisters, to uplift our brothers. You understand for real? From the scriptures. Do you understand that? Come on. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him. That fear him. That fear him. That's how powerful it is. You see that we at now? Uh, verse 7. Come on. And delivereth them. And delivereth them. Come on. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. You see that? That's what it is. Taste it and see. Listen to these songs, brothers. Listen to these songs, sisters. And see if the mindset don't change. It'll give you a more... Relaxing mindset because what it makes sense. These songs make sense. You understand? In these songs, Virgin, we are showing you how yes, we have to come together. You know what I'm saying? Gather was say all these songs uplift. You understand? We think about talk about how the kingdom gonna be. You understand? We talk about how the oppressor gonna change and shackles and whipped and stripped. Yes, we talk about these things in the song. Yes, prophesy. Cause that's what the scripture said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I want you to understand, brothers and sisters. I pray your brothers and your sister get something from the scriptures, from the topic. And with that, we're going to say shalom, most and Christ bless. Shalom. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. His word, his word.